Hello, welcome to Rocket Squids Mod Spotlight. Um, so one of the things you may find from Rocket Squids, first of all, are these things, these whistling uh, conches. Uh, and we can actually craft them up. And you can see we've got a noteworthy conch and a conchzilla. Um, if you just right click on it, you get a simple one. Uh, and then if we have this, that's three whistling conches, and this one, um, a whistling and a noteworthy, or f uh, four whistling. Uh, you can see, let's have a look at the difference in the interface between each of these ones. So that one, it looks the same, but I imagine you get a higher drop rate from the squid with the, with the higher tier one. Uh, let's actually look at the squids now. So there's various things you can do with the squid. Um... This is, but I mean, that's basically it. So if we look at the squid. We'll, we'll create a load of them. You can see they fly off. Often they just fly off uh, directly up. Um, so if I just, if I settle the squid here, we might see if we get. We should be able to actually just. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, so what you actually need to do is you need to get the. Uh, You need, to, you need to play the music to the squid. I might just try with the simpler one. The problem is they're not playing. What's supposed to happen, I believe, is the squid is supposed to move forward a bit. I mean, this drop is directly from the squid. I, I will actually, I will be able to show this. I know that when, you can see the saddle, and then when they go... Oh, you know what it might be? I think you may have to play this while you're on it. Yeah, I think that's the answer. Interesting. I think maybe it likes the music. I can't really tell. Hello, welcome to this mod, Rocket Squids. There's a lot of interesting stuff with it. I'll, I'll explain what I think is going on because it's a little bit... The documentation is, is pretty average, to say the least. Um, what I believe is that you get these conches and you can play notes. And I read through all the various change logs, and basically what it seems to say is that... is that when the squid moves forward a small amount, it will play a note. Um, and what I gather by that is that when the squid moves forward, um, if you match the note, or you show some sort of musicality with regards to the squid's note, then you'll be able to get some of the other drops. So basically, these jo drops... The, the turbo tube doesn't drop. It may be a rare drop. You can chuck it. It doesn't seem to do much. Um, you can you create uh, TNT with it as well, interestingly enough, and fire charges. So I, made, I mean, maybe it is a rare drop. doesn't cause block damage though. This this drop is um, this is uh, the, the, the the standard drop. It's orange dye basically. Um, but it's not but yeah but that I mean but that's basically it. And if you look at the squid um, there are various things you can do with the squid. Like let's put, if you do something the still Let me have a look. Yeah, you see, it doesn't actually drop the turbo tubes. And so, I'm not sure exactly how to get these drops. Um, again, if we look at the, the uh, conches as well, there's more advanced ones. 
So, yeah. These two seem to be the same. But yeah, to actually... The, 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 what I believe may be the answer is if you use a saddle and then you have to play... Let's just try the, the basic one. Hmm, it did seem to... What it may be is there may actually be a specific thing you need to play. That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if there's anything to do with the timing here. Hmm. There's also a... Uh, that's actually unusual to see that there was actually a, an air bar for the squid there. Um, but yeah, one other thing... So one thing I suppose... The thing is, it doesn't really cause block damage. So if I did something like this... We put the squid inside, and then do this. Oops. May not be quite enough room there. What is it? Hmm, I may have got turbo tubes that time, I'm not sure. I'll have to look back on that. I should be able to actually see. But yeah, it's a very interesting mod though. I'm not exactly sure the musicality stuff of it. Um, the breeding as well is a little bit confusing. Often, most often they go directly um, up in the air. I know that the... Uh, the if you look at the baby, the baby squid, they often go directly into the ground like this. Which is kind of unusual. I mean, there's, there's, something, there's something interesting about it in terms of like... I know that... I, I mean, I know there's actually... there is actually a rocket shrimp. So even though like... What's happened to this guy? Interesting. So I'm not sure... it's interesting that I... I don't think I don't. I, I imagine they can't breed with each other. There was also some other status effects as well. Now I think about it. You see, I'm not exactly sure what's going to. I feel like it definitely makes them rise to the surface more. I wonder if I need to play the same note. I feel like maybe it's more something like this. It's if it's interesting. I literally just press shift there, and then it jumps immediately out, which is very interesting. Um, what's going on here? Oh, hmm. Oh, it's actually. Did I just? Yeah, I mean, I think there are some bugs with it as well. But anyway, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what else I can say about it. Um, 
there's certainly a lot of interesting behavior from the squids. There's certainly something with with the uh, conches as well. Um, it, it it looks to me though, like I said at the beginning, that these drops which you can't get normally, the turbo tubes and the squid statues, um, I mean, I, I, I do think that, yeah, I mean, I don't know why you get blindness there, but, but I can throw these at the, it doesn't make any difference, when I throw these and get blindness. So I think maybe the fact they've got a throwable uh, property is not necessarily relevant. Um, it's kind of interesting that you can just get blindness whenever you want. There's actually something which is uh, fairly unique. But yeah, that'll do. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm not actually quite done. There's another recipe. The sand. For sand. That's such an old recipe. Can you do this? No. So I know that these things, you're supposed to actually put them in your head. I'm just looking through the source code at the moment to see like what other stuff there is. That one can't put on the head. Can I put this one on the head? No. Only the normal one can be put on the head for some reason. What is the point of this? Uh, do we just keep on going? You know what I think I must need to do? I've got it, I've got it. I have to play the... Oh my gosh. I think what... Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? But I don't know... I think you need to know what these notes are. People, people can listen to that sound. They'll know exactly what note that is. That sounds lower, right? Oh, wait a minute. Isn't it? It's not playing it back to me. I'm not really understanding. Like, is is the squids talking this, or is it is it? You know what I think it is as well, is that there's multiple squids here. Here's what I'm going to do, you know what, I'm not even going to bother with this section. We're going to have to just have one squid, because I feel like it's making too much noise, and I'm getting confused. So we've got one squid. So that is the squid making that noise, right? 100%. What is supposed to happen when I actually... Here's what doesn't make sense though. If the squid is making the noise, how come when I take this off it doesn't do make any noise? Maybe this is to tame it somehow? Because I was thinking maybe I can actually fly with the squid on. Okay. still carries on when you're on the squid.
Interesting, when I press space, something does seem to happen. That's not good. Man. Okay, I think those statues are just world gen. I'm just looking through the... Uh, to be honest, I'm not that good at reading um, the the code. But we'll try, I'll try my best. Because it's, it should be a fairly simple one to understand. It's not like got more... Um, you know, there's, cer there's certain... Like more advanced coding stuff that I don't understand. But normally with a mod like this, I should be able to just read the code and be able to work it all out. We'll see that. Um, right, so I've looked in the code and inside uh, the squ I think there may be a mega squid. Let me just see what happens. With okay, so I think you need to be a. a No? They said you needed to have a feather. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, I just I just really don't get what it's talking about. I wonder I wonder like if I'm just not good at reading it or it's if it's like so can I do that? Okay, so maybe I think maybe it needs to be Yeah, I was also looking there was actually some funny code about the, the tentacle angle. This is this is um but anyway, the point is um Right. Let's see what else I've got in the, can see in the... I'm not sure about the feather. Okay, so I've realised what the statues are for. They're world gen, I believe, right? And depending on if you're facing the same direction as the, as the squid, it should blast directly towards the statue. Okay. That's what, I, that's what I've sort of understood for what it says. So as long as I, if, as long as you get on to the squid, so for instance, I put the saddle on. Wait. You have to always be facing the same direction as the squid. Interesting. I'm getting a little bit more control over it. I believe it was supposed to blast towards the statue, though. I may try this in an ocean, actually. It, it might make a bit more sense. Hmm. Okay, I think we're going to try and do this. So, from what I understand, the statues, they'll spawn, they'll spawn in the world. What I've done is I'm currently about 250 blocks away from a statue okay now what from what it says is that less than 10 chunks is a high C 10 to 50 chunks is a middle C and then more than that is 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 low or whatever so if I play a middle C while I'm on the squid looking and looking in the same direction the squid is facing I should be able to get to the statue until I get to about 10 ch chunks away when I want to play high C. That I believe is, is, is the answer. I may not be able to actually implement it, but I believe uh, that is how it's done. 
it's a, <laughs> it's it abs it's one of the most ridiculous mechanics I've ever heard of, but it is quite funny as well. All right, so we play middle C, right? Oh, did I actually not get on it yet? No. All right, let's get on it quickly. All right, so we're going to play middle C. You know what? I need to see where I'm going. The problem is I can't actually see where the squid is facing. Okay. Middle C. I'm still facing the right way. Yep. The problem is it's quite difficult to see. It's hard to get it. I think SC need to. I'll just stay. I'm going to stay in creative mode just because it'll be easy to do it. Problem is when it falls to earth. I think it's better in shallower waters, right? I guess the saddle's on the back, so I need to do it this way. Oh, that's where the eyes are. Yeah. I think I think some of this is the it, it is the reason why I can't get it perfect is because. But this is this is how it's done. I'm pretty sure. I'm pressing I'm pressing the middle C by the way, uh, because I know I don't have the. Can I? There's something funny about the way that the thing is saddled. Yeah, you see, interestingly, you can actually you can sort of move around in the saddle. It's not like. You see, when I press shift, I'm not actually getting off. I think it's it's just saying to the squid, maybe. Uh, Yeah, I need to be looking up, I guess, don't I? You know what I think you have to do as well is you have to go you have to play the whole thing. Yeah, we're getting there. Curious where my Y coordinate is now. Two twenty thirty. So I need to get to zero zero. I'm definitely closer than I was. I was two hundred and fifty away. Can I make it to zero zero just by doing this? I'm gonna try it. Interestingly, so when I get within, you know what, maybe I should do high C automatically. I'll put a few high C's in there. This is high C, it must be that. Oh, high C seems to work better. Maybe I already am close enough. 
The problem is it's trying to get... It just went straight down. That is something that I, I'm not... I'm not sure why that's happening like that. Yeah, that broke. Okay. I wonder if I could just look the the op the opposite direction. Mm. Problem is, they really. I feel like it's updating. It's, it's thinking about where to move too many times in like a small period of time. It's too high, see. No, I'm still, I don't think I'm in the range yet. You know what it might be is that. Hmm. It's so it's so like annoying because I can tell that I'm getting, I'm sort of understanding it. You see, when it's in this state, I feel I can't do anything. See, that felt perfect, right? I think it's too deep, though. Hmm. Okay, so from what I understand, the statue is just world gen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a statue in, say, a place where I want it to to find. And so the aim will be to try to get the squid to find this statue. So we'll go over here. I think there's actually a squid already there. Is there a squid somewhere? Where can we start? We'll start like here then. So it's not that nearby, but it's reasonably nearby. Okay. Right. So let's get on this squid. And what I'd like to do is, we'll just play high C. So the aim will be to try to look where the squid is looking, but not necessarily all the time. Um, um, like for this, in this situation, we can't do that. But here we're going to look where the squid is looking, and go and look upwards instead. It's difficult when it's completely upside down, but if we can just get... I feel like just looking upwards from the spot where the squid is looking. So yeah, about here. Okay. Very difficult to get it, but... I feel it's better in shallower waters though, isn't it? You can sort of use the up arrows to, to get to the surface. I can see why it's like this. I think also it needs to complete the note. Mm. 
Okay. I think it's over. It should be it. Yeah. I think perhaps this is why it might be useful to have the actual thing on as a helmet as well. Because this will just this will mean you're always going to be firing. It may be difficult to get out of this spot though. I feel if you press space you do kind of get out of it a little bit. I think maybe there's just a few too many blocks around. Yeah, it's difficult to get out. Need to get away from the edge. Might be able to, f might be able to see a path there. The only difficulty is, you know what it might be easier to do, is to go into F5 and see this. Because you see, facing, it's impossible to, fa but I can do this. The problem is it's, it's constantly finding the wall. I feel like maybe there isn't really a way out because I, it would have to. Because you see, the, the tendency is to is to go to the edge. This water and because of the low lying water, it's more difficult. So I'll be able to get a lift off again here. So I'll get one here probably. Should be able to get another lift off. But maybe it can't when it's dying, that's the problem. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, that wasn't great. Let's go back into the uh, lake, try again. <laughs> yeah, I think there's just nothing you can do apart from I'm not sure how you can affect like in this phase here. And I guess another problem is that if you're going in a certain direction it's not necessarily that easy to do it. Hmm. Okay, let's try and see what we can get with this then. Uh, 
Yeah, so I, I think I think in general the the best way to start out would be just to look at um, putting it in the element slot, and this will just increase the ability to control the squid, I guess. Got a forward and a forward and a third forward and a fourth. I'm trying to see where the. It's hard. It's, hard. it's not that easy to see. You can see certain things from this. Yeah, I was in the wrong spot. Yeah, there's there's different there's different. Like I'm trying to see where the best spot is for the upside down. You see, when it's like this, I can tell where I need to be on on the squid. This would be this would be something that probably work well in VR actually. Okay, so I know I need to be here. I can always put the sea lions down, can I? Yeah, I can. Wait a minute, when it's upside down like that... Yeah, I, I need to look straight down. Yeah, he's looking that way. Alright. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get, try and get this perfect now. That would be straight up. That one. Straight down. What's that? That's an upward movement. The thing is, right? I guess there's no point in in, in trying to get the get the. Str Unfortunately, of course, I've ended up in the wrong spot here. Here's the thing, right? Let's try something different. Let's go surface. 